So now we have the two projects, they have a reference, we even shared, we even moved the business entity, so we're pretty much ready to make our first contract. A contract is like an, it, we, we call it an interface in C Sharp code. It's a way for us to say, when we have to talk together, when I talk to you, what kind of rule sets do you have? What do you have available? What functionality do you have available for me? And we're going to add a bit of spice on that right away. We're going to make a generic interface. We're going to make a way so we can, we only have to specify one interface and then we can actually say if it's a, for a person or a person status or an employee or a frog or whatever we want to put in there at some point. So we're going to start out by making an interface. Let's just start there. Add new item and this time instead of class, I pick interface and then I need to give it a name and that'll be the iManager. Now notice I don't put an iPerson manager or something like this. This is a generic interface, so I'll specify in a second that I can add a person or an a person status or whatever I want to put in there. So let me just start out by adding the clean interface here. Now the interface needs to be public. I want it to be available um, inside the other projects who are using the data logic layer package. Cool. Now what do I want to create in here? Well, I actually want to give uh, the access points to create something, to read something, to update something, and to delete something. That's the goal of this. And if I wanted to make this specific for the person, let's try and do that first. I would go in and write something like this. I need, I need the person here. Import missing references, there we go. I wanna create a person. Let me just finish this up. And uh, what I wanna pass in is actually the person that I wanna create and call him P. And that's all I have to specify. Now what this is saying, this single line right here, notice there's no implementation, no curly brackets. If this was an implementation, that would be something like, like this, right? It's not there because it's an interface. It's just, uh, I'm just specifying what it should look like, right? It's not how it's implemented. So uh, if this was specific for the person, I would say to make a person have a create function of some kind, a method that said create, send in the person you want to create in the database or in the list or wherever you want to create him, and then send back the actual person you created. Now, why would I want to send him back? Well, the idea is that when I send him back, he might have information that has changed, like his ID might be, instead of zero, it might be set to a value 510 because that is new, that's his new ID and I can then use that later on in my web application, right? So this will be the, the create um, contract that I made, not the implementation, but the contract. But notice, I already made this very specific, not generic, but very specific against the person. How do I make it generic instead? Well. We're going to change something here. We're going to, instead of saying, I want this to be specific, then I want it to be anything. It could be anything. So the T kind of represents just any type. Any type you want to pass in, that's what I'm putting here instead of person. Now that means when we use the manager next lesson, then you'll see that I change the T into person instead, and then every place here it says T, it'll be person, 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 right? So it'll make sense in the next lesson. This is how we make a generic interface. So now it just means that every place where I put in person here will change all the code down here where it says T into person. So it'll say person, create person, right? Let's make the read one. If, uh, there's actually two reads. I think there is because there's the read where we just read a single guy. And in that case, I want to pass in an ID and then I want to return the guy that I found, right? Notice how easy it is to make this interface, right? The other read that is available will return a list of whatever type we decided. And then we'll say read again. And this time we don't want to pass in an ID because we just want to read everything. I hope this makes sense. It will when we implement it later. We have the update one. I'll just do the same thing. So when I update, I want to return the guy I updated and then I want to call it update and I want to pass in the new value that I have updated. So this is like if it was a person, I would send in the updated person. And when I was done up updating everything, I would send the updated person back to the user if you wanted to see the new changes. Now, why does this make sense? Well, let's say that the person updated actually got two people updated at the same time in the same database, then you might get even more information back after you did the update. And the last one is the delete one. Um, here, I'm going to just return a Boolean value. We could return the object, we delete it, up to you. And what do we want to delete? Well, let's just send in an ID again, very basic. But notice, very, very simple to read this. Very, very simple interface. And it's an easy way for us as a team to discuss, do we cover everything here that we need in an eye manager? We, we could start talking about pagination is missing. We'll add that later then. But right now, this is a good way to start. We have an interface that explains not how it should be implemented, but how should we communicate between the two layers.